All right, man, here we are on the inside of the bus. I figure I'll uh, snap a shot of this real quick while it's daylight out. But we got the new wood floor in there. Got the front looking pretty good. Uh, new reservoir, Wolfsburg West. Got some headliner material here. We've got the new wheels and tires all the way around. Got brand new brakes. We put a put an industrial uh, coating on it. It's a uh, polyurethane, and uh, probably gonna sand this down one more time and shoot it when we get it around over there again. This uh, this particular paint's made to go right over rusty metal, and they paint. Uh, channel markers and stuff with it and uh we used to sell it for a while i don't think they discontinued it but it's a real durable finish it's a lot like the old Amerflint or emeron so uh basically just blocked her all down and sprayed her with a single stage and i did buff it it's, it is pretty shiny it is a uh, needs a buff job and a wax job it's been sitting outside we're gonna go white on the top up here uh, this is an original deluxe. Uh, we're gonna put some jealousy windows in and take the vent windows out because they were all bad. And uh, this is my bus, so I'm trying to you know do it on a budget. As Tommy Shee says, balling on a budget. And, uh, yeah, Tommy, this dune buggy is uh, Andreas. I uh, traded a small block 400 that was in my uh, Nova for this and uh it's a real piece of shit i tried to strip it down but it keeps cracking and every time i prime it the gel coat's bad so gonna have to go deeper into it i guess uh she sort of wants to put this thing together those are all the shocks for the bronco this is the bronco that my son's abandoned uh, we got a new tailgate for it in there we got two new doors uh, new bumpers we just bought this skyjacker spring kit for it and uh, we got some uh, drops for the control arms there that we need to put on and he just sort of lost interest on this and then I need to build the tranny for it but it's got a uh, remember how to open it hang on a minute here Anyway, let's see here. It's got a big block in it, 460. Got an Edelbrock cam intake carburetor. Uh, we just we did the bottom end on it. We haven't fired it back up yet. There's the wildlife living in it. Mm-hmm. Squirrels. Rats. So we're gonna be getting this motor home running, putting some paint on this bad boy. I'm thinking about just rolling this thing, cause uh, it's uh, it's a, it's not as nice as it once was, and uh, I think spraying it's just a ridiculous idea. Uh, I tried to spray the bottom with some car paint down there, and these things are basically wood with fiberglass on them, and. Uh, I think I'm gonna do some signature series boat roller paint or something. I don't know, man. Just something to make it all one color again. Put some stickers on it, but uh, everywhere, uh, when you get a leak up top and it leaks down in the walls, you get these little bubbles with water in them. So I can't see putting any expensive paint on here. Uh, so we're gonna just treat it like a motor or a trailer now. Uh, I can't seem to hold that water down. 
So I've tried coating the roof on this thing and it doesn't really, you know, it's got some moisture here and there inside. It doesn't pour in anywhere. So I'm going to try pulling all these windows out, I guess, and resealing them. I think that's where the water's coming from. Uh, here's another little project we need to do. The old boat sort of missed the season. I took the cover off just to take it out and carpenter ants that ate the floor out of it. So uh, we're going to have to put a floor in here. Clean this bad boy up. This is what Andrea likes to do, go on the boat. Uh, it's like a hole you throw money in basically. So all right, man, we're going to run off to the little car lot up the street. Apparently they have some cars to do. I wanted to stay home and work on the booth today, but it's not going to happen. So. Uh, take you guys with us up there. And, uh... You got an F-150 all over, everything but the bed. Did some caulking on the booth this morning, used up four or five tubes, I think. Probably need four or five more tubes. And, uh, gotta get a fan for in there today somewhere. I have a big uh, circle fan or a metal fan, and it's got an explosion proof motor, I might just go get another one of those. Uh, cheapest uh, actual paint fan I could find was 900 bucks. So. I'm already a little over budget on that project, so. Uh, Hans keeps wondering where his Honda's at, you know, for his birthday, and I told him just look in the garage, it's a paint booth. So, sort of spent his Honda money on the paint booth, because it was more than I thought it was going to be. Here's Andrea, doing her magic this morning. What are you making? Patriot Blue. Patriot Blue. Just putting in the pearl coat now. Matrix has a uh, powdered pearl. I know Diamond's uh, liquid. Uh, most all our pearls are powdered. What kind of paints this? Uh, MSG or actually. All right, this is a. Uh, I'll show you guys a little something here on this one. Uh, we have uh, basically, I think, four four types of paint we sell. Uh, MA, what is it? MSU? There's, MAU? There's MCU, which is single stage. MSU, which is polyurethane factory packs. MSB, which is standard base. MPB is premium base. FX is the candy line. And RSB is the So the RSB here is... Uh, Probably comparable to the Dimensions line or uh, the Shop Line. Uh, I think Shop Line has a. I think Shop Line actually has a premium uh, base also. Uh, I've used a couple of their colors and they seem to be pretty thick. Uh, the Refinish Solution line uh, is the cheaper line made to compete with those cheaper paints, but. Uh, I don't use it too often because even though the price is good, what happens is, is you end up with uh, very little bit of pigment in the paint. For instance, this gallon of cam we're mixing here, it will probably be 20% pigment and pearl and then 80% binder. And uh, the binder is what makes it transparent and not cover. Uh, you mix this uh, two parts paint to one part reducer. So it doesn't go as far as the premium base or the S or the uh, the shop line or the shop base. So. MPB and M what is it? MSB. MSB standard base one to one and a half. Premium base is one to one. So, so 
does that, I'm gonna let you watch Andrew mix a little paint. I'm gonna load up my uh, gypsy toolbox. I'll set you up over here. Putting a toner on the machine right now, stirring it up, and uh, is this going to be a half gallon or a gallon? Uh, half gallon. Half gallon, I think. So. Uh, to give you an idea so you understand the, the clear balance room that's going in there, there's, a hundred, there's 1,676 grams total in these two forks. Right now I'm at 568. I'm still putting for this part but I'm explaining it. this uh this is definitely a cheaper way to go but this is what I try to explain to my customers you know it's almost better to go with the premium or the uh, MSB because you get a little better color match you sort of uh, degrade the ability to get a good color match because you have the transparency issue when you add all the binder in binder makes it hard for the color to, to pop so you lose a little bit of that and uh, that's the difference in the cheap paint and uh, uh, quality paint uh, it's not that we're using different toners in this we're just using less pigment so without the okay. pigment in there I showed them already the color stopped here now we're at the balancer that's how much clear went in the can so. So almost 80% balancer and 20% color, and uh, you know a lot of guys that have uh, that are doing all overs. So what they'll do is they'll, they'll buy this this paint here. Uh, if you don't have to have a perfect color match, you're doing an all over. It'll uh, be close to the factory color, but it may be slightly off. And uh, usually that's the transparency, you know, the, the not covering part. When you're buying the less expensive paint, that's one thing to think of. You know, sometimes you can buy the more expensive paint. Uh, it stretches a little further when you mix it, and it definitely has better coverage because you have more pigment for uh, material. And you uh, have to reduce this two to one. Right, I explained that. The, the redu reduction is two to one on this, so you know, you're, uh, you're limited on the amount of reducer you can put in there. Uh, and uh, when you add the reducer, it makes it even more transparent, so. Just something to think about. I mean, we have to offer this paint because, you know, there's competitors that have a cheap line that we have to compete with, but uh, we always try to educate people and tell them, you know, the difference. Uh, you can't always judge your uh, job on the price that you pay for your materials. You know, sometimes you gotta uh, pay a little bit and uh, it makes your job look better in the end and it makes you, you uh, have an easier time of doing the job. Nothing worse than going in the booth and putting four, five, six coats on, and you can still see your primer spots. You know, uh, you want to make sure that if you have a color that's transparent, that you definitely buy the, the better line of paint, so you know you get the coverage. So. All right, I think you guys have seen this hundred times before. Two, four, or five. couple new viewers so this is the mixing system these are all the toners and uh, 
all these individual toners uh, combined in a formula and make the color. Uh, these are all concentrates. They have to be combined with uh, binders and uh, three different binders depending on the paint line. There's 95, 49, actually there's four of them, 89, and the RSV binder, 505 or 501. So, this is basically what the formula report looks like. You got your uh, paint code. The matrix number. This is another RSB refinish solutions, and uh, these are all the toners that are in this particular color. Wow, you're lucky, huh? A lot of them. Uh, some colors uh, have four or five. Some have up to nine, ten toners. It just depends on the color. Uh, the formula is cumulative. Sorry, I didn't say that right. Uh, the number increases as you pour the formula, you pour up to the high number, and uh, once you get to the end there, you have your color. Uh, what color are you making here? Silver. This is silver, and uh, we have all different kinds of colors. We had white just a minute ago, she just put some black in there. going to be like a brown oxide color. So, all these drops are what make the colors. Uh, <laughs> if you go over a little bit, uh, you can forget about it. The color's off. So, again, this is the binder. I'm probably the only person that handwrites labels too, and I have my reasons for doing that too. Uh, Andrea's blocking the shot with her big head again. Sorry, I have to be able to see around the can. And you got more binder. There we go. I think I got that. All right. I feel like Fido's ass today, but I'm gonna go do something. Uh, I don't know, probably need to take a day off or something. That's what I got cocked. I got that one done. I got that one over there done. And I think I got one inside done. Uh, one there get started I gotta finish the top up there but do do calls so we'll get back on this a little later try to get this cleaned up shop some mess messy messy carpenters shit everywhere so all right hey you need to find me some heater channels today Just call scooter tell him I need some heater channels uh, call Junior, have him call Sundance wherever he wants to get him. But, uh, you know. What's his, the name of that car? The 64. Doesn't have a name. It's so. got a name. I can't remember Lily. his name. Lily. Yeah. We call her Rust Bucket. But, uh, I know he's going to be crying the blues, man. I don't want to put him in as much as he doesn't want to buy him. Needs heater channels for Lily. They are junk. A